Pie Rich Whipper. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ethan Ace with an A. Back at it again with another video. This is not a reaction. This is something different. It's the first time I ever did this for, for, for real. Uh, the title of the video is The Truth About Bobbleland. So before I get into that, <clears throat> appreciate y'all for giving me for 1.4K subscribers. I think I'm at 13.95 right now, but I hit 1.4 the other day, so I know it's possible. So you feel me? If you knew this channel, I might as well give me back to 1.4. You feel me? Five of y'all. Um, make sure you like this video. Let me know down below in the comments what y'all think. Because I feel like this is a it's gonna be a pretty decent video. So <clears throat> my boy Katana had hit me up. And he was letting me know he's like, um, you seen a video of Bobble and me kicked out of the studio by uh, Trippy. And I was like, nah. He's like, yeah, but the reason why was because he kept bringing up the D Savage and Cardi beef. So I thought the Bobble in like three months ago. Because bro was on some weird shit. Like, I just can't stand YouTubers that like really like thrive up thrive off of negativity. Like, for instance, DJ Academics, like that nigga literally love negativity. And he like like, niggas, like, bro, we're black, my nigga. Like, that nigga DJ Academics is black. He over here, like, tarnishing the black community. Basically getting people to, like, you know, have beef with each other, all type of shit. Just because he got a, you know, he, he know that he got, like, a crowd, you feel me? So, it's like, I don't know, it's just weird. And Bob in the same way, you feel me? So, I don't respect YouTubers that really, like, love negativity. It's just no point. There's no room in the community for you because it's like, what are you doing? Like, you're not doing nothing right. So, for example... Look up Bob Lamb and D Savage. Type in Bob Lamb D Savage. One, two, three, four. Hold on. My shit lagging. My shit is lagging. Five, six. I think he got seven. Seven videos about seven videos about D Savage. We about watched a uh, video of him getting kicked out of the studio. Uh, I'm probably watched like five minutes of it. I watched the first two minutes just to make sure that everything was right about the video before I even made it. I didn't really want to make a video. And then you feel me? The facts didn't back it up. But we about to watch five minutes of uh, this video and then I'm about to just leave all alone. But yeah, bro, be on some weird shit for sure. Like, I don't know what the fuck so he got going on with him, bro. But hair, man. I don't know. Like, niggas, I think niggas really be insecure about their right. life, in my this opinion. Is what I to but do. So, so it, it was ahead of the video. Oh my God. This Baba Blam shit, fuck this nigga. <laughs> fuck fuck Baba Blam. They can't see you. Bro. I don't know about you. So he in the stew with Quincy and Suave and Baby Santana. Since, since we're on a laptop, it's like kind of fucked up, but whatever. We're doing and it. I'm going to show y'all this real quick, because I watched uh, the first two okay. minutes, like I said. Let's talk about, let's talk about that lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's too. Hold on. So, Baby Santana reading the, he reading the comments off of the Twitch. Look, he gets so geeked. He gets so geeked. This nigga's so turned. 37 seconds into the video, right? So, he's talking about Quincy. Quincy look like D Savage, right? Nah, but I wanted to interview D Savage. We need to put that beef away. Nah, you got beef. Look, Quincy looking at this nigga. Shut the fuck up, ugly ass nigga. Why does he always mention Cardi? A minute into the video. D Savage always mentioned Nigga rent free in his head, no cap. Weirdo. Exactly. And that was a joke, bro. This nigga was literally joking. He does look like D Savage, Cardi. Except his hair. Quincy don't look like D Savage, bro. Stop. Real Lewis, man, what the fuck? This 
This dude. Yeah. That's my real brother. Yeah. He was like some fake. Bro, you're way darker than me. That's not racist. I'm just talking about like he doesn't look like you. No. <laughs> right. No, if they came out of the same womb, they got. If they're biologically related as twins, you would just, no matter what race it is, you would expect them to be similar, like complex, like whatever. Nah, nah, they playing. Audio too low. Well, it's because they're over there. Turn mic up. I don't know. Alright, so I'm about to cut this short. And they're not talking about a whole bunch of shit. It's a live stream, so I really can't blame them for that. But no, feel me. I wish nothing to, but success towards you, bro. But quit that negativity shit. That shit low key weird. And it's like, I don't know. Like, niggas low key. I don't know. For for me, I look at it as somebody being insecure as fuck. Like, bro, your channel is literally based off of negativity. I don't fuck with that shit. Um,. Like I said, it ain't, it ain't shit, nothing towards me. I'm just saying, like, you know, from what I'm looking at, I don't really like the negativity shit. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. If you think I really explained the right way, you know, about this video, let me know below. Comment down. Um, more videos on the way, of course, as always. Make sure y'all follow me on the gram. And we out of here. Simple. See y'all niggas later.